HitFilm Sensei here. Today, in this video, we're going to do a request from one of the HitFilm Sensei subscribers. And here's the request. Hello, sir. I wanted to ask you for your help, provided you have time for my project, because in my opinion, you make great, easy to follow tutorials without skipping steps. Okay, I am using HitFilm Express to put text in my video to look like what was done in HitFilm YouTube channel video called How to Make Titles in HitFilm at the 108 mark. Do you know of a good tutorial video to help me with this or perhaps provide some instruction, please? Thanks for taking the time to read this regardless if the question was answered or not. Well, I am delighted to answer this question. First, let's look at the tutorial that Simon Jones did. Earlier. This is in a separate composite shot, as you can see. And in this one, I've moved the text down and added a solid plane behind it, which I've also shifted down to the bottom. And I've also added a photo of my face onto the corner over here. Onto the plane, I've then put a mixture of effects, starting out with a simple gradient going from black to white, and then a fractal noise effect set to overlay blend. Heat distortion on top of that then makes the fractal pattern look more like a drifting cloud. That creates this rippling pattern. And finally, a luminance key removes the brighter parts of the layer, revealing whatever is behind it. I can then animate the whole thing to slide in from the left, bringing all the parented layers with it. Okay, so in that tutorial, Simon used HitFilm 4 Pro. Well, the thing is, is that HitFilm 4 Express can do almost everything, but not quite everything that HitFilm 4 Pro can do in this tutorial. So we're going to do something similar, but not exactly because we don't have all of the tools available, but we're gonna fake it as best we can. So we're gonna start with making a new composite shot, and I want this to actually be 10 seconds. And what I'm going to do is this is where my title's going to be. So I'm gonna rename this uh, lower third. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to add a plane layer. This is going to be the background plane. And I'm going to drag this plane layer down so that it's about where the lower third is. And then I'm going to type in using my text tools, the actual lower third. Okay. And Okay, just like that. I'm also going to drag in a picture of myself. Uh, and that picture is just a little big, so I'm gonna scale it down, right? Because it doesn't have to be quite so big. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna use the whole picture, although you could, you know, kind of crop that a little bit if, if you think you needed to, okay? All right, in the background plane, we're gonna follow the steps that Simon did. We're going to start by making a color gradient effect, and we're going to drop that on there. And it, we actually want this to go from white to black, not that way. So we're going to flip these colors. We're going to make this one white, and we're going to make this one black. Okay, so that's a little bit more along the lines of what we were looking for. I'm going to bring the white over a little bit, um, and I want to bring the... Uh, yeah, that'll work, okay. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna add the next effect. The next effect is the fractal noise effect. So we drop that one on there and that creates those kind of cloud looks that go by. And what I wanna do is, is I wanna actually go ahead and get those to move. And what I wanna do is I want to keyframe the position at the beginning and then I need to go to the end and then make that about 300 on the x-axis so that way the clouds are just sort of drifting by over that 10 seconds okay now here's the problem the problem is is that simon at this point used the heat distortion effect well hit film express doesn't have the heat distortion effect if you go and buy the pro version which i would highly recommend you do then you'd be able to add the heat distortion effect you get a really cool looking effect but instead we don't have that so i'm gonna cheat and i'm gonna just use a kind of a fake substitute i'm gonna add a blur effect to those clouds and I'm going to ramp that up to about 10 just so that it's kind of blurry maybe eight you know it doesn't really matter it's sort of to taste okay then I'm going to add last thing that Simon did was the luminance key all right the luminance key 
takes out all of the, in this case, it's set to key out the darker sections. Uh, but the tolerance is way too low, so I'm going to up that all the way to the highest it can be, which is about 100. And I'm going to leave, actually, I'm going to maybe drop this down um, to about 0 0.05. And now I sort of have a, uh, you know, floating clouds effect, right? Now, I really kind of want them to totally disappear over here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, add a mask to the background here. And this mask is going to be very much big enough that when I do a feather on it, uh, it won't feather anything but this very edge right here. And the feather I want to, to do is going to be about, you know, maybe 150. Okay, something fairly big enough where it feathers out and it makes it appear that uh, the, uh, you know, those clouds are just sort of, disappearing like this you see yeah that looks pretty good okay now we go back out onto the editor timeline I take my footage I drop it on here uh, this is uh, actually me and then I drop my lower third onto that and then it looks pretty good um, oh except that I will need to make an adjustment because I didn't adjust that so uh, I'll just fit to frame this and we should be good to go and that basically is what that looks like okay that that little frame there now here's the thing is that if I want to have this slide in and out I will easily be able to do that what I'll do is just I'll create a new point layer and I'll just call that the control point because that's basically what it's doing uh, and then what I will do is grab all of these and parent them all to the one control point okay so now if I were to slide that control point over it's gonna slide everything off the screen and if I go to, say, about maybe negative 1,300, that'll probably do. Then we can keep frame that position. We can move up here to one second, make that zero. And that makes it slide in. So it just kind of like this, you see. Then we'll come out here to, say, the nine-second point, And I will create another keyframe. And then we will go to the very end and I will again make that about negative 1300 and it slides off. So at the end of it, then when it's done, it just sort of and slides out. So when we go back onto the editor timeline, now you can see that the lower third sort of slides into place and it's just floating clouds down there, which is showing, you know, the picture and the name and the, and the company's name. And then it just slides off. So I think that's probably it. Here is the final effect. At the Family Karate Center, we offer professional martial arts services to children of all ages. Being that we are a kids and family oriented karate program, we work with both the parents and the teachers to develop your child in the most positive way possible. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.